We're there. We're there. So you can stop saying, are we there yet? <laughs> you ready to go? Huh? You ready to go? Huh? <laughs> CQ, CQ, CQ. This is November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie. Summit's on the air. Good morning. Well, it's Saturday morning, a little before 6. I'm waiting for Dale to show up. We're going to try to hit three peaks today. Um, Wolf Mountain, Wishbone Mountain, and then Lake Mountain. Uh, the only obstacle to that is going to be weather. So if we can beat the thunderstorms and we win, Otherwise, maybe we just get a couple, which is always great fun. So, what do you think, Ray Ray? You ready to go, huh? You ready to go, huh? <laughs> All right. Yes? <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> All right. Well, we're ready to head out to Wolf Mountain. First stop, Wolf Mountain. And then we'll see how it goes from there. We're there. We're there. So you can stop saying, are we there yet? <laughs> That's wrong. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. What do you think, Ray? You excited? Huh? Let's go. Should be really nice. It's been raining up here probably every day. It's been raining at my house every day since I've been here, except for one, maybe two days for the past month. And the forest has really started to pop. So, <laughs> we are at the peak. Comes Dale. I cut him off down there to make it look like I summited first. <laughs> it's all fair. Bonus points. Ooh, look at that view. I believe that's Lake Mountain directly in front of us, right? Uh, or is it that bump to the right of it? No, I don't see the tower. Oh, good point. But it's, yeah. Huh? Could be. So that'll be our third one. It may be behind this little mountain in front of us because that's that's probably not it. We're gonna hit that one third. Wishbone is not too far over in this direction here through the trees. That'll start number two. So yeah. Pretty hike this morning. It's cool. Forest floor is nice and wet. Um yeah, just Perfect weather, it's not blowing as hard as I thought it was going to. So, uh, short hike. I think it's less than a mile up here, right, Dale? Yeah. So, short, easy hike. pretty simple. All right. Well, let's get our shit set up and uh, get cracking here. Okay. I'm going to set up my new pole here. I've been using a, uh, a much heavier pole, probably about four times heavier than this thing. So I dropped some weight by switching to one of these uh, Chinese crappie poles. Um, they are delicate, uh, especially down toward the, the bottom extension tube, which I'll show you. Um, the wall's pretty thin, so you have to be careful, a lot more careful with these than my other one. Uh, but boy, is it a lot lighter. So this is a seven meter pole. I took out the first two elements. Uh, one of them's glued inside the other to give it more stiffness. Um, I may not have even need to go that small, but the second thing I did, was add um, these little loops along the bottom and they're, they're kind of covered up um, with the green 
so that I could tie this down when there aren't any trees. I can basically, it's a triangle configuration uh, to get it set up. Um, I got that idea from K6ARK. He's got a video on it. I'll try to link to it uh, down in the description. And I'll also put a, a link to uh, how you can get one of these poles. Um, this brownish uh, cord here is um, something I just leave on it because I'm going to use this to tie it to the tree, which you'll see in just a minute. Um, in the top, what I've done is I've taken a, a key ring and uh, it, has a, it has a hole in the bottom, put a screw through it and epoxied it into the top of this pole. So that worked out pretty good for me. And then you take the other side once you get it screwed in and epoxied and you just drop that guy in there with a little bit smaller uh, keychain ring and voila, <clears throat> this thing isn't going anywhere. So that all just fits right down in there. So let's get set up. This pole isn't quite 20 uh, feet. Obviously it's about 16 feet actually the way I have it configured, but if you lift it up and strap it onto one of these trees, um, then you get that extra four or five feet. So you do get up about 20 feet, which is optimal for a dipole, I guess. Um, 20 meters, that is. So let me pick one of these and I'm going to tie it on there. I'm going to put this around the branch and then just wrap it around the tree. Now, I haven't tied the one of those little loops in there, so it doesn't really want to go anywhere. It won't slide down. And uh, I'll just tie it off here with uh, the Chris Clay one horrible knot. I tied a worse knot in the world. You think you tied a bad knot? You haven't seen mine. But I do like to make them so you can just pull on the end to untie it. So there you go, we're tied onto the tree. There's no wind, so um, I don't need to really secure it any better. Let's grab a line here and uh, let's bring it out to our operating position. Ray's funny because she'll run, she'll run out to Dale, check on him, then check, check back with me. Oh, look at that. I'm going to be able to just sit on the rock. I don't need to get my chair, set up my chair. Don't you love it when you haul your chair up here and you don't need it? Anyway, let me put out the rest of this um, counterpoise here. It balances the antenna and uh, gives us great performance. It actually looks like the line's caught on a branch up there, so I need to undo that. We're going to go a little bit farther. I'm setting up my little uh, chair here. I really like this little one pounder. I leave it behind on the really big hikes, but uh, especially if you're going to be on the peak for a while, it's really comfy. Um, and it's made for idiots like me. See? This side up. Kind of reminds me of the Claymore Mines. This side toward enemy. That way you wouldn't point it toward the uh, good guys. <laughs> anyway, enough yakking, let's get cracking. Hey, one other thing I'd like to point out. These BioEno batteries are really awesome. But I pulled the negative side out of the charging cable out of the terminal. So I resoldered it. And then what I used is some uh, uh, Gorilla Tape to really tape this thing down so it comes out and then down the side of the battery. That way there's, if you can pull on these all you want, and it's not going to put any pressure where it's soldered in there to the terminals on the battery management board. So I highly recommend doing that if you're using these small batteries like this. Um, take a look at your other batteries. Um, if you're careful, they won't get yanked out, but when they're in their pack and you're pulling them, on, pulling them out of your pack and they snag on something, 
real good chance uh, this is going to pull out. Got a little bit of strain relief right here because um, the little Anderson power cables, power poles. But um, anyway, just thought I'd pass that tip along. Um, maybe someone else can avoid the same same issue I had. So here we go. Ray's sitting over here. Nice cool area she's found. She's good at doing that. She all. She'll go and dig a hole under a tree and uh, get some shade, and she knows how to get comfy up on a summit. And I'm amazed at how patient she's been with me. So, if you wear her out, that definitely helps. Edward. Yeah. Well done, Edward. Thank you. Summit to summit. Gotta love it, baby. All right. That's the first one in the log. Um, let's see if we can chase anybody else. Summit to summit, summit to summit, summit to summit. Summit to summit. Go ahead. This is November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie. Summit to summit, summit to summit, November 1, Charlie, Lima, Charlie, November 1, Charlie, Lima, Charlie, November 1, Charlie, London, Charlie. Uh, do you need a relay? And negative, then it wouldn't count. Uh, he knows I'm in here, though. That's good. Thank you. Uh, yeah, November 1, Charlie, Lima, Charlie, November 1, Charlie, London, Charlie. Would you like a relay on this call? Uh, negative. Yes, November 1, Charlie, Lima, Charlie. N1, Charlie, Lima, Charlie for a summit to summit with you. QSL, 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 QSL. I got you, uh... Five two five two five two five two uh, on whiskey seven alpha alpha papa zero three two that's whiskey seven alpha slant alpha papa zero three two QSL seventy three that's whiskey seven alpha alpha papa zero three two uh, be careful on the way down. N1CLC, you're 5-5 five five in Washington, K7SS. K7SS, thank you. I got you 5-9. Thank you.
that's it for Wolf Mountain. Uh, hope you enjoyed the view there. We uh, didn't crash it this trip, so that's uh, always a good thing. Although I did tweak my knee, taking the antenna down as I crashed myself. Stepped on a rock and went over. So, that was a battle. So, 25 contacts, five of those, some at the summit. So that was nice. Uh, I think my last chaser was N6AN. Thanks, David. You're always out there chasing us. Appreciate it. Ah, beautiful day, overcast. And uh, Dale and Ray are leading the charge down there. Ray's funny. Yeah, like all dogs, they keep tabs on everybody that's in the party, making sure everybody's okay. So, we'll creep down this side here and get her done. Camera Dale. Yeah, graceful. <laughs> that's my name. Yeah, by taking us around the other side of the mountain, I didn't look at the chart. It's a lot steeper over there. So we've been having to angle around and find a place where we can get down off this, you know, it's like 20, 30 feet. Then we're home free. It's just finding that place. I think we found it though. How'd you do on Wolf Mountain? Oh, I think we got like 25 contacts and a couple of IS to us. Sweet. Sweden, Lars in Sweden, so that's always good to hear from him. Yeah, good day. Awesome. Perfect weather up here, huh? Yeah. Right now, no lightning, but overcast. Clouds are rolling in. Rolling in, but I mean, to the kind of to the west of us, it's not too bad. We'll see how it develops. I think we can get one more in. What do you think, Dale? I think we can do it. All right. No guts, no glory. Looks like they had a fire up here. A lot of these trees got singed, but they survived. Uh, the fire didn't get up into the canopy. For the most part, it stayed down. So uh, no big torching up here, which is great. I'm sure, they lost a few trees, but uh, thankfully they're keeping it under control. Ran a bunch of uh, the the downside to these is when all of this mulch and stuff burns on the ground there's a heavy rain creates some really nice washouts on the road so it's one after effect you get after these mudslides as well because there's nothing to soak up the water not right ray well it's kind of all this just wash, rain washed down here. No way for this mulch to catch it. We're down on dirt. It's kind of a bummer. There's one dog in front. I've got another one back there behind me. Old dog back here. Old dog back there. It's kind of steep. About a thousand feet per mile. Um, that's kind of, I use the rise per Elevation gain per mile to kind of get a sense for how steep shit is when I'm planning. So this is what a thousand feet a mile looks like. We're basically going straight up, but it's the best approach. There's no trail. We're going up a ridge. I'll show you the chart right here. Ray doesn't seem to have any problem. Right here on the chart. Definitely on that ridge because it breaks away from us both directions and looks like the fire calmed down up here So A lot of stuff on the ground some burned some like this, you know untouched so it definitely was a lot more easy going here So be nice to get back into a little bit more pine needle area. But yeah, we're starting to break out of it here. I see a I see a trail I've used before, it looks like. Or it's just a trail of unburned. Yeah. Um I think the choice down there in that little clearing was a lot better. 
this is pretty shitty up here on the summit. Um, but I'm gonna make it work. Don't think I'm gonna hang out up here a long time. Let's get her done. Have some lunch. We go, we got Peter summit to summit. Carrier. That sucks. Yeah, all right. Way to go, dude. You're killing it. Awesome to hear you on side, uh, CW. All right, let's see if anybody else is up. Get, uh, I'm gonna get packed up here. We'll get a quick shot of this summit, hopefully, uh, with the drone. To get a better sense for the uh, damage up here. So once I get my gear put away, throw my antenna in my pocket, and we'll head over to uh, Lake Mountain. It might be a drive up. It might be a bicycle up. So we brought our bicycles for that. Um, yeah, if there's lightning and thunder, or thunder and lightning, or however that goes. We may have to skip it. So there you go. All right, we're gonna head up to Lake Mountain and uh, we're gonna do it a little bit differently. As you can probably tell, Ray's gonna run. <laughs> Dale and I are gonna ride these things. So, yeah, hopefully, I'm not really interested in taping any crashes today, so we'll do this. left. Move, Ray. How's my back tire look? Good. All right. Did you have a good run up the hill? Good girl. Yep. I, I did too, e-bike all the way. Um, certainly makes it, uh, that's fun, zipping up here. Here comes Dale, he wasn't that far behind me. Way to go, Dale. That's actually a heck of a ride with uh, no power. This guy's in shape. 
He is in shape. Yeah, he is sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> well, we made it. Oof, yeah. uh, wow. Station's up, yeah. so. I think I'll find a spot over here. All right. A lot of thunder around here, so we're gonna get out of here. I'm gonna let uh, AA70Y lead the way. Rock and roll. That was, man. So, how long do you think that took you? <laughs> about 10 seconds. I'm thinking, yeah, about maybe a two minute ride. Yeah, that was fast and furious. It's a good trip. We got uh, checked off three summits: Wolf Mountain, Wishbone, and then Lake Mountain. And on the Lake Mountain, I got ten contacts. You got four. Yeah. Just barely. <laughs> we, we both got uh, John in New Zealand. That was kind of cool. Thanks, John. So, uh, yeah, good day. Just starting to rain as we came down, but it wasn't. I don't know. We never really got caught in any rain. No. Um, Looked like it was going to, then quit. Yeah, I think yeah. it's going to rain up here. We're over near, right near Alpine, Arizona, if you want to look that up. So, but anyway, that's it for the video, and uh, thanks for watching. If you're interested in doing, uh, learning more about the hobby, you can go to hamninja.com slash soda360 and uh, pick up the training, we some training videos there on how to do summits on the air, activating and chasing. So. Until next time, 73 guys, roll the credits. <laughs> <laughs>